watching Senior Support on your TV. I'm your host, Debbie MacDonald Moynes, and our topic for today is the, um, the assistance that's out there for seniors to get help to get the groceries and other things. Now, it, I'm already mentioned that it was uh, weeks ago now that the Chief Medical Officer of Health of Ontario really strongly recommended that seniors 70 plus stay self-isolated at home for their own safety and for the safety of everyone in the community. But people need their groceries and other things. So we have with us today, Laura McGugan, who is going to tell us about um, what Prince Edward Community Care has done to respond to this. So you have a new program on the go, Laura. Yes, Debbie, we do. Thank you. Um, we're very excited to be offering a grocery delivery service now uh, due to the uh, pandemic. Um, we knew we had to respond in some way, and especially when that announcement was made of seniors 70 years of age and older uh, recommended to self-isolate. Um, so we've teamed up with uh, Sobeys in Picton, as well as Metro in Picton and Pearson's Foodland in Wellington to offer this service. Those three stores are offering a curbside pickup, and seniors could just uh, um, do that themselves. Why would they call community care for help then? Well, because Premier Doug Ford wants seniors 70 plus to self-isolate. We don't want to put them at risk uh, by going out even just to do the simple task of picking up your uh, groceries curbside. Um, we have wonderful volunteers who are willing to do this. And uh, that's we've been working very closely with those three grocery stores and our volunteers to offer this um, program. And I think it's really important because something we've really discovered um, with this uh, delivery service is that seniors do uh, use the grocery stores to socialize and unfortunately during this time um, this is when we have to sort of step back and make sure our seniors are taking care of themselves and this is one way we can help them out with that. So um, these stores are doing email and online um, orders so how does that work if a senior doesn't have a computer or they have no way to send an email? Well, if they don't have access to an email or computer or just are having difficulties placing their order online, again, uh, Prince Edward Community Care for Seniors is here for them. We have a couple of volunteers um, who are able to place the clients' orders for them so that they can uh, make sure they're getting their groceries and still not having to go out. So we do have that as an option. And for any of these options, you would just have to call the office if you are requiring more information or assistance. So you have staff in the office answering the phones? We have staff working from home answering the phones. <laughs> we're lucky that we have that capability. But yeah, we're all working from home, but checking messages regularly. And we just ask that everybody leave a detailed message as to what they're looking for. And we will follow up with them as soon as we're able to. We've had a great response so far uh, with the grocery delivery program. It started a couple of weeks ago, and it's definitely um, building as we, each week goes by. And the more we do have to uh, self-isolate. So this is a free program, isn't it? Yes, it is free. All the client has to do is uh, place their order, or we do that as well, or and they have they do have to pay for um, their groceries. But we do uh, the delivery, the pickup, and delivery is all free. Yep. Uh, so what if a person lives out at Long Point, or um, you know, out there on Hikes Point Road, or somewhere like that? What happens? You know what, we put out a call for uh, more volunteers um, to help out with this particular program. And we've been getting people from all over the county. So if you live out in Long Point, uh, we do have volunteers that are going to be able to uh, provide this service for you. Again, it would just be placing your order, however that is, whether you can do it online or we do it for you. And then us uh, setting up the pickup and delivery time. You know, when we were talking to Brandy, she said to Sometimes this has ca caused people to have to ask for support when they've never asked for support before. And you and I have been working for a very long time with volunteers. And it's good for them to volunteer, isn't it? 
It is very good. For some of them, this is an opportunity to volunteer because they aren't able to work, um, whether it's because they um, have been laid off because of the pandemic and now have uh, some time to offer and really want to give back to their community. Uh, some I know that we've brought on are just recently retired and uh, didn't think this was how retirement was going to uh, look necessarily, having to um, maybe not be able to do as many volunteering activities as they wanted to, but now they are and they've reached out and we're bringing them on board. And, and uh, again, we are vetting the volunteers as well. Just want to make sure um, everyone knows that, that we're still following a very safe procedure uh, with regards to that. So when a person signs up for this um, delivery program, the, they don't have to see the volunteer, do they? There's a, there's a distancing protocol for the delivery of the groceries. Yes, we're still practicing the uh, six feet um, distancing protocol. So when the volunteer uh, goes to the grocery store to pick up the groceries, it is curbside. Um, they, they get them, they put them in the trunk, then they head to the client's home and we will identify where the client would like the groceries placed, whether it be at the front door or maybe they have a, a table on the porch that they would like the groceries placed. The volunteer knocks on the door, um, heads back at least six feet, if not maybe towards their car. And we're wanting to make sure that the client um, does know that their groceries have arrived. And this is also a security check, just very, very similar to our Meals on Wheels program. We wanna make sure that the client knows their groceries are there and that we do see them get them. Obviously, if for whatever reason, no one did come to the door, um, our volunteers know the process to follow up with the office so we can make sure um, the client is okay. So you have existing volunteers that are doing this. Probably, I think they're under 70, given that the 70 plus year olds have been asked to stay at home. And your, your agency is taking on additional volunteers using a, a very um, different um, intake process given the pandemic and you can't meet with people. Um, however, you are taking on new clients as well, aren't you? Yes, we are taking on new clients. This is not just for uh, clients that were already with the agency. We will take on new clients um, if they need this service. Um, and really any of the programs that we're offering during this time, we are taking on new clients. So whether it's the grocery delivery or Meals on Wheels, whether it be hot or frozen, we are able to take on new clients at this time. Again, the uh, intake process looks a little bit different, but we're still uh, managing to get new clients on and, and uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, serving those clients. And again, it's just a call to the office, leave a message, and we will certainly return and get you started as soon as possible. Uh, what about um, medicines? Uh, you're, you're also picking up and delivering medicine for those, yes. those um, drug stores that don't. Uh, have a delivery program. That's correct. We are doing medicines and essential services. So um, if you do have a prescription that needs to be picked up, um, again, it's calling into the office. We make the arrangements. Volunteers are the ones that deliver it. And again, really the only option, the client, really the only thing the client has to take care of is ordering their prescription and, and paying for it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it These to you. These volunteers are so highly motivated to do this. I, I know that from um, from talking to some of the people that really want to help. So if a person is 70 plus, they're watching this and they're thinking, well, I'm perfectly capable of going out and getting my groceries, picking up, picking them up at the curb, doing, um, going in, getting my drugs. Uh, yes, of course you are. But for the safety of all concern, the, uh, the best thing to do is to not do that, even though you can. Of course, we all can. But we're all doing things that we, right now, that we um, really, we're all doing things differently, aren't we? We are. And even for myself personally, um, I limit how often I go into a grocery store as well. I've never been so prepared uh, with making a grocery list as I have been um, during this pandemic. So I think it's just important that we all do this and, uh, you know, especially seniors uh, 70 and plus. And I mean, I know we've been saying 70 plus. However, we do serve seniors uh, 60 years of age and over in Prince Edward County. So it applies really to any any. Um, of that age. 
And you did mention, Laura, that often seniors will go into a grocery store. It's kind of a social thing at the best. In, in good times, it's a great social thing to do. But right now, that's not okay. It puts the seniors, the grocery workers, all of the other people that do have to go and get their own grocery at risk. And so mm -hmm. um, now is the time to do something different and to know for sure that those volunteers that are doing this want to do this. This is good for them. It's a good way for them to contribute. They feel good about having done it. And, and it, it, is, uh, it is a positive thing all around. It is very much so. Yes. So um, we, Prince Edward Community Care will um, help with picking up and delivering groceries, um, picking up and delivering medicines, essential things. I, I'm thinking maybe hearing aid batteries or that kind of thing might be an essential thing, but not groceries or medicine. Any of the essentials um, that people may be asking, we want to make sure that it's a store that we can go to that has curbside pickup because we are not sending any volunteers into any stores because we really don't want to put them at any more risk. Yes, they're, they're willing to do this and, and we're protecting them. We're protecting seniors and, and, uh, it, it sounds like it was uh, a quick program to set up something new that Prince Edward Community Care hasn't done before. Uh, yeah, it was, but you know, it came together really quickly. Um, the grocery stores, we reached out to them and, you know, it takes a little bit of time. They're certainly under uh, new pressures that I'm sure they never expected uh, to be under, um, but we've got it together and it's been going the last couple of weeks and each week we're adding more and more people um, to uh, deliver groceries to, which is amazing. It's great to see that people are reaching out and using the program um, because it is there, so why not? Absolutely. Use it as long as it's there during the pandemic and uh, and do what what we need to do. Thank you so much to, for joining us today, Laura, and telling us about this. It's been uh, been very interesting to learn this new thing that's happening in our community. It's been great. And thank you so much, Debbie, for having me on. And everybody just call the office. You're watching Senior Support on your TV. We're bringing you this episode today in a new way with new technology, with big thanks to Ann Workhoven, our producer at Your TV. Uh, we, our message to seniors today living in the viewing area is there is help for you to have your groceries delivered to your home directly so that you can do as the Premier Court has asked to self-isolate at home for the protection of everybody. Thank you for being with us today. Stay, stay safe and stay home.